Total Line Aftermarket Zoning offers a full lineup of universal application two-zone and four-zone controllers and a complete high-quality line of round and rectangular dampers. Our TL Series line was designed with the contractor in mind, making it easy to install, easy to set up, and easy to troubleshoot. These universal application controllers can be used for both gas electric and heat pump systems with dual fuel applications. With just two controllers covering the majority of the market, we've made stocking simple for you. Controllers can operate in two-stage mode in lieu of a two-stage thermostat. Features include fresh air dampers, economizer control, expansion board options, and more. All Total Line TL Series Zone controllers feature bright, easy to read LCD displays, LEDs to indicate calls, easy push button setup, and screwless terminals for ease in setting up and troubleshooting. Total Line controllers come with a supply air sensor and a five year warranty on both the controllers and the dampers. Be sure to check the compatibility of all devices prior to installation and note that the supply air sensor is required for the system to operate. In this video, we're installing the Total Line TL EZ4F 4 Zone Controller to a conventional forced air system with an Ecobee 3 light thermostat and Total Line 8 inch power open, power close, three wire dampers. First, mount the Total Line controller near the HVAC equipment on a flat surface using screws. It can be mounted on a wall, stud, roof truss, or the supply ductwork, and can be mounted in any orientation. When working with any electrical connections, please make sure the electrical supply is shut off at the breaker before beginning work. Be aware that the TL series system requires a separate 24 volt AC transformer, which is not included, for powering the TL series controller, zone thermostats, and dampers. It is recommended to install a fuse on the 24 volt AC output from the transformer. Note that the 24 volt transformer must be sized and fused based on the controller, the total dampers, and the thermostats. Reference the transformer sizing charts in the install guide. Next, we'll connect the transformer to the 24V and 24C inputs on the zone control board. Today, we're connecting this unit to an Ecobee 3 light thermostat onto each of the terminal blocks labeled Zone 1 T-STAT. For each additional zone, you would repeat this process, connecting to Zone 2 T-STAT, Zone 3 T-STAT, and Zone 4 T-STAT. The Zone 1 T-STAT will operate damper 1, the Zone 2 T-STAT will operate damper 2, and so on. Now, using 18-gauge solid thermostat wire, strip a half an inch of insulation from each wire. Hold down the orange button and push the thermostat wire into the screwless terminals on the control board. Then, connect the other end of the thermostat wire to the corresponding terminals on the thermostat. To use the EC terminal on the Zone 1 T-STAT, a separate switch must be used to supply 24 volt AC to this terminal. Next, attach wiring from the system to the equipment terminals on the board. Now let's move on to wiring the power open, power close three wire dampers. We'll use 18 gauge three wire to connect the damper. First, we'll strip a half an inch of insulation from each wire. Then, while holding down the orange button on the damper one terminal block, Push the three wires for the zone damper into the screwless terminals. Use green for power open, or PO, white for common, or C, and red for power close, PC. Connect the other end of the wires to the terminals on the zone damper using the same color code. Then, repeat these steps for the rest of the dampers. Next, plug the supply and return sensor wires into the SA, SNS, and FA, SNS terminals. Now that all wiring for the thermostats, zone dampers, and equipment is complete, it's time to configure and set up the unit. We'll do a setup for an AC and gas furnace system. At this point, the RH and RC LEDs should be illuminated. Press the setup button to enter the configuration mode, and then press setup again after every selection to reach the next option. The screen will display the setup menu and option one, set board function. The factory default is master. Again, press the setup button to proceed to the next option. If you go past the desired setup option, press the reset button to start over. 
Now we're on option three, set system type. The default setting is AC gas heat. Next, press the setup button to proceed to option five, set outdoor unit speed. The default setting is one speed. Press the up or down button to change to two speed. Now let's go to option nine by pressing setup. You can see this option is set high temp cutoff. The default setting is 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the up or down button to change the temperature. The adjustable range is 125 to 150 degrees. Next, option 10, set low temp cutout. The default setting is 48 degrees. Press the up or down button to change the temperature. The adjustable range is 42 to 52 degrees. Now we'll press set up to reach option 14, set economizer mode. The default setting is off. And let's go to option 16, set fresh air minutes hours. The factory default is zero minutes. Press the up button to add fresh air minutes. If fresh air minutes are set at zero and the equipment stage is set for one stage, then the next option will be option number 22. So press setup to get there. This option is set zone one priority. The factory default is off. Press the up or down button to turn on. When this option is turned on, any call from the zone one thermostat will override any call from the zone two, three, or four thermostat. And finally, let's go to option number 23. Set auto changeover time. The factory default is 10 minutes. Press the up or down button to change the setting to 15 minutes. This setting determines the amount of time that elapses after an opposing call occurs and the system changes over to the opposing call. If the equipment stage is set for one stage, pressing the setup button will exit the configuration mode. And that's it. Our new Total Line Universal TL Series Zone Controller is completely installed and set up. And the whole process was incredibly quick and easy. This demonstration featured an AC gas furnace system setup and configuration. For other types of systems, please consult the installation guide.